This is one chapter of the 12, separated and posted. It was taken from my main one hour and a half tutorial, hyphen documentary video, to make it easier for crafters to use. If you don't mind watching the whole thing, then click on the link in the description and the pinned comment. Chapter 8. Bundle Pieces. The Muscles of the Hawk. Capítulo octavo. Paquete de piezas. Los músculos del halcón. Our core is the skeleton of the bow, but without proper muscles, its power can't be expressed. Two sets of pieces will be measured and cut for that purpose. Pick up your core and measure 12 centimeters from both string points towards the middle of the bow. It's the same measurement I used for the handle. Use a marker and mark both sides. Now you have the base to measure your next two bamboo stakes. Measure the length between each new marking all the way to the opposite end of the entire handle. For me, it is around 58 centimeters slash 22 inches and 13 sixteenths, but each bow may vary slightly. Pick up two normal thickness bamboo stakes and repeat all the cutting, adjusting, cleaning and strengthening techniques. Go ahead and place the first one there. Tape it in place. Twist it and tape its two ends with the rest of the bow. Do the reverse with the other piece. Don't place it next to the other one, but place it on the back side of the core. See them as two opposite poles of a magnet. Twist and tape it in place. These thick ends will now mark the borders of our handle. For now leave them as they are. Eventually you will tie up with rope every bamboo end. But it's better to first place everything together. For the sake of showing you why you should wait, I went ahead and tied all four ends of one of the two sample bows I'm developing for this video. From the thin tops of the new pieces, I'm going lower towards the center again with the same measurement, 12 centimeters. Mark those spots. From the new marks, measure 56 centimeters slash 22 inches and 3 sixteenths towards the other side. Do this from both sides and use the thin bamboo stakes this time. Repeat the same process as before to prepare the third set of pieces. Don't forget to make them face opposite sides. With your prepared thin pieces, place them on the shaft as you did previously and see how the gradient steps are formed. Twist and tape the first piece. Place the next one at the opposite side of the shaft, the same way as you did it the first time. Twist and tape it too. Now you can see why it is better to wait before tying the ropes. You don't want to place a piece above a notch bulge. It will prevent your bow from acting as one piece and it becomes a weak point that can break the whole thing. The far sides are not in the way though, so you don't have to cut them. Simply cut the ones close to the handle by placing your razor between the spaces formed by the bamboo. It's safer if the cutting edge faces outward. Tape everything together and you're finally ready to tie every single end. Do it the same way you did it the first time. Remember that the center of the bow's gravity is the middle, so half of the knot will face opposite to the other half. The ropes are the tendons of the hawk. After you finish up the rope wraps, you're ready to place the final piece. Cut it to be 18 centimeters slash 7 inches long. That's slightly shorter than the handle's length. Process it like any other piece. I call it correction piece. What it does is serve the bow as a final thickness support for the middle, but mainly as a handle correction. To see what I mean, get a simple rope that you don't need and temporarily tie it on both string points. You don't have to actually bend the bow. You will do that only to see where the string shall be facing once it is made. Pretend you're ready to shoot and use the Comanche style handle with your thumb following the bow's line. Exactly as you have seen in my previous videos. Place the piece on a gap to sit well where it would help you hold the bow firmly. Once you find the most comfortable spot, get some tape and completely wrap the entire handle length. Wide sealing tape would be easier to work with for that. It's the same material as the scotch tape. This spot does not need to be tied with any ropes. The tape is sufficient. What you have in your hands is already a fully functioning bundle bow, as long as you make the string too. But let's continue to reach its true potential. <laughs> 